So, on previous steps, we've seen how to correctly initialize your PowerSoft or EMDSP using the Armonia Pro Manager software. This time, using PowerSoft Armonia Pro Audio Suite 2.5 or later, we are going to show you how to create some custom presets for your system. The tools that you require are shown in the picture. So, a ProNet 485 connected to your Digimod IK, then a CAT5 to RS485 cable, and then a USB converter which should be connected to your PC. Okay, our Armonia is now almost open. This is the main window, so the first thing you need to check is that the correct serial port is connected. So go on the Home button and then Options, and then go on the Communication Manager tab and check your serial port. Okay. So, now we click on the Discovery button and wait until our device is found online. OK, so as expected, a Digimod 2004 PFC2 with DSPD is online. We wait until the outer board becomes green, which actually means that the device is available on our Armonia system. Now that is available, we just double click on it and we go to the Presets tab. So, what we see now in this window is the four default presets that we have stored into the DSP during the initialization process. We load the first preset and this is the preset that we're going to edit, creating our custom presets. So, we'll just wait for the device to become available. So, we go in the Scheme tab, we just click on a functional block, uh, in this case and just going randomly and creating some high pass on the channel 1, um, just really going randomly. And channel 2, uh, a low pass enable. We now want to go back to our workspace, right click on our amplifier, Preset, Export. We're basically exporting a .pam file specifying the name preset1 and we're just going to save it to our desktop. We click on save. Good. So we created the first preset. We go back to our Digimon 2004 preset tab and we load the second default preset. We are now going to edit this one and we're going just to put some limiters, let's say. So we wait until the device becomes available. and we go to the Scheme tab, just straight to some limiters, random limiters, just, I just move the cursor with no sense. Channel 2, do the same, I enable the peak limiters here, and then I'm going to export the second preset. Workspace, right click, uh, preset, export, good. So, preset T is another .pam file on our desktop. Click on save. So, I leave it up to you now to repeat exactly the same process in order to create preset 3 and preset 4. So, you just edit the functional blocks on the scheme tab, the ones that you require, and then workspace and export the PAM. Um, we close Armonia now and we move to the next step which is to create a custom model on our Armonia Pro Manager software.